2252, but it doesn't matter. This is all the same setup for most Bissells. Well, looky here. This doesn't move. So what are the reasons why this would not move? There's probably something jammed, like our stone jammed in here. Because that's about the only way you don't get this thing to spin like that. Let's see. Who's betting on what's jammed in there? Hmm. Oh, well, I guess. Hmm. What we got here? Well, let's pull this out. This? Oh, this belt. Oh, yeah. Oh, or that. <laughs> Or that happened. Ooh, someone crapped him. Yeah, the belt melted to the wheel. Awesome. Oh, great. So it's not spinning. It's not spinning. Let's see if we can set this up. It's not spinning on this. So we burned the wheel. It just so happens I have an extra wheel in the car. Huh. Awesome. Alright, so that wasted the belt, pretty much. I think. Yeah, that's not gonna... Well, if you can see that. That's not gonna fly. Alright. Awesome. I have a, a used wheel... I just replaced on another Bissell that I can throw in here after I figure out maybe why this isn't spinning. Probably all full of hair down in there. Alright. I don't think there's an easy way to get these off. I guess I eventually am going to have to figure it out. I bet those are pressed on and you just pull it off. Alright, so the one that's not spinning, I went in and with the screwdriver, where the hell is it, pried it up, went out, trying not to break the plastic, got it to pry up off of the press fitting, and what we have is a blown bearing. See, now we, now we spin. Okay. Is that bearing bent? No, no, maybe that's not blown. This had a lot of hair on it. I think hair got in there and melted it. You see how it's all in there? I think I just chipped that out. See that? That's all hair. That's all like burned hair. All right, so let's see. I'll chip all that out and then put it back on. All right. So I clean most of this out. You just don't want, you don't want to frame this. You want this to touch the bearing, the center piece there, but not the rest of it. Might clean some more of that off. The bearing I cleaned all out, and you see that is a, a standard 608Z, which is the bearing used in everything, including your skateboard. It's used in the motor. I replace the motors on Vax all the time. I mean bearings on motors all the time. So we say Z, and it's also in your um, your power tools, everything. So I'm just going to clean, try to clean some more of this crap off. And that is, it's all burnt hair. You basically just want this touching... Touching um, the race of the bear. All right, so we'll work on that. Well, if it's going to touch anything, you really don't want it touching the bearing. You want it to just stick on this pole. Okay, I lined up the lines as best I could and then tapped this back on. Of course, I hit it too hard and, and melted that. But you know, we see we're good. No issues. But we'll know 
when it gets up to speed. But I'm pretty sure it's perfectly fine. The bearing's fine. It just filled with hair, and the hair melted. You know, made some nice, uh, yummy stuff that a lot of you want to probably chew on. You know, should pack that up, chew it up. It's a little plastic, but it's also mixed with hair. As you see the hair. Yep. And the belt totally melted, but I got a pile of belts. I mean, you could use this in a pinch, probably, but who knows. So I'm going to have to put a new belt on there. This is some cheap old rubber thing. And now the test. How loud would this wheel be? Or just be normal. There we go. And just as I figured. Perfectly fine. We've backing up our mess. Perfect. 